what I just said. If it ain't about, didn't I say if it ain't about the money, I don't want to hear it. If it ain't about the money, I don't want to hear it. Uh, what the say? Huh? huh? What the say right at the top? Big no. <laughs> what is it? No, say the whole thing. What? Clear they don't say no clear. What? Killers. Yeah, I'll be out. I'll be out there breaking suckers' ankles behind the back, pro. I'm a pro at the behind the back. So like, come on, oh, like bang, be like bang. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you can go practice while I play this game. Hey, bro. It don't matter. Go play. Huh. I go there. Right, go watch TV. We we'll watch TV real quick. When you, when you like get to the fourth quarter, and then you have a like some four hour game. Yeah. Hmm. Versus six it's feet the home three. Of the here in Los Angeles as two Sub you two. That's a more guys play play. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan introducing the rest of the 2K broadcast team. Steve Kerr, Clark Kelly. I know these videos are kind of short, but I'm just testing it out. Testing out YouTube if y'all like it. Crowd. Well, they're entering a bit of a soft spot in their schedule. Facing off guys against some of the lower ranked teams in the league. And We'll see if they're able to take advantage and have their win total. Yeah, and I think this is an important yeah. game for these guys, Kevin, because, you know, they only play this CP2 match twice already during taken the regular season. As you mentioned, they lost the first one. Uh, so it's very important. You don't want to get swept by a club in the season series. Steve, it's always about pride. I mean, that's always a factor when you're talking about pro players. I mean, these guys want to know that they can come and play a strong game. They know they didn't bring it last time, and they want to change that approach right here, right now. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So on the floor for Washington. Prime time, he's in at the point. Nene down low with Bortop. Beal teams up with Pierce on the perimeter. Now here's Paul. After the miss from prime time, picked by CP3 so Kicks it out to Paul. Blocked. Good block. It. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And fast enough to shoot on me, though. 
looking at Los Angeles. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Kings. Oh, nice crossover, yeah, Gortat. No surprise, Clark, because they played very Watch loose with the ball that night. Yeah, they were carefree. Foot loose and fancy free with the ball doesn't get it done. And how often do we see it, Steve? The team that loses the turnover battle loses the game. Into Jordan. A little bit of a magic oh, game here. Three are already to make that catch and slam. Stupendous, stupendous alley-oop. Mm, this crowd just stunned at the sight of that one. DeAndre Jordan alongside Blake Griffin, maybe the best game dunker in the league. He has the ability to make spectacular plays every time he gets near the rim. The pass to prime time. Shot clock at five. Oh, nice spin move. Oh. It's three on three on the fast break. It's gonna be two of course, he get better all the foul, but I get blocked. Matt Barnes really a good glue guy. He rebounds, defends. He's got better with his outside shot, and he can really run the lane. And he's always had a tough. Look like six people in the paint. I think a lot of coaches love. That he gets touched by one person, he fouls. And you look at advanced plus minus measurements. Matt Barnes rates very well. Not surprised by that, Kevin. He brings so much energy at both oh, ends of the floor. He does a lot of those little intangible things that don't always show up on the stat sheet. Here's prime time. He's coming off a 34-point game against the Utah Jazz. And what an extraordinary display of passing in that game, too, Kevin. He's making all Wild the right decisions offensively. Major defensive laps right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. And in occasion, Let me know what y'all think of my commentary, though. Looks like it does. Video. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb. It always would be nice if I can get some likes. Reddick with the bucket. Reddick's got his first basket. And they're nearly perfect from the floor early on. The scrubbers will make me happy just getting the one or two. Prime time, the pass to Gorta. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. We're talking still out of the bottom. They didn't call it that. The Polish hammer, Steve. We like him. I know the, the 57th pick back in 2005. He's just a quality starting center in the NBA. 6'11", center, can score and defend. Really a good pickup for Washington. And Gortat got his rebounding back up last season. A consistent double-double guy in the middle. And he turned 30 last season. Still very much in the prime of his career. Now here's Paul, averaging 18 points a game. Oh, the shot's good bad Jordan. defense on my part, but I still got back to get the block. Got a second bucket yeah. of the night. Of course, they get the rebound. Wizards trail by seven. Now it's send it down to Doris Burke, who is able to catch up with Coach Doc Rivers. One player we discussed in oh, the detail was the young Bradley Beal. He said, I was a fan of his game from watching him at Florida. His combination of outside shooting no. and slashing make him a very tough cover. We're going to put pressure on him and try to take the ball out of his hands. And Kevin, Beal's such an intriguing talent. We'll see if he's able to put up some oh, big numbers. Paul. All right, Doris. This is his foul. And Gortat, a strong finisher inside. Can shoot out to Wait, what? I ain't calling no full curve. <laughs> 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 Key for him is just staying healthy. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take uh, man on the man. scoring so far for the Clippers. And the points they're getting in the lane will really they help. They call them man the, the other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice oh, yeah, job. Plenty of their points star. early on coming off assist. Here's prime time. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Beautiful dish down low. Los Angeles leading by seven. Outside Griffin. All right, Blake Griffin shooting three, not in the feet away. Good. And now we what? can see them really working it inside. Now, taking advantage I know of the Blake defense, Cole, really like, pounding just, it down. They got low. him looking like Jordan. Now. So it's Washington now. Prime time, the pass to Nene. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Trying to give it to the big man. got four rebounds in this game. Reddick with the bucket. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they just got the, they got 14 points inside. in the paint, yeah, and we got to getting pounded in there. The defense is not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. Uh, we got to get shoulders off there. Here's prime time. Not big man Defended by Paul. Nothing. Outside Pierce. Pierce do your time. Sinks the triple. Pierce. Pierce has got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. 
I mean, that's just inviting the trouble. trouble. Paul kicks to Jordan. Good and Paul gets How the did not, how did Bradley Bill not block Paul's him right there? Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Wizards trail by 10. Here's prime time. Right At least I get to see the struggles of my guys at this Hall of Fame too. Gortat inside. Beautiful dish and the layup goes down. Gortat's got his third basket of the night right there. Good job creating what an the easy heck bucket that? there. Reddick with it. Now guarded by prime time. Well, if anybody watching, they can see my struggles. Reddick dishes the ball. Look at that. How did I get that set? All along. Uh, Here's Jordan. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he probably Arjo freaked out. Webster, he's checked in for Nene. The Clippers shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Well, to this point of the season, oh, guys, the paint wide open. 76% of their free throws. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Wow, one of five. Buckets off assists. That's a huge part of what they've been doing here today. A lot of dime dropping going on out there, Steve. Now here's Paul. That may be light. It's stolen by Webster. To the I ain't even gonna open on this regular pass and get the two one. They get it back. The shot by Pierce will not go. So for Washington, they, they really just have been this a lot up and down. I thought their defense in that game was about as shit. What? What they make me attend? They follow. Home, you know, that kind of defense isn't gonna cut it. Never mind if you're on the road. They oh, really the look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they no, were out too late, but something was amiss Blake is dribbling because they had why no is he so fast? And that one's good, Griffin. Everything going according to the script uh, for them offensively so far. Yeah, the shots look have been at falling, that. that's for sure. The offense really in a good group. Griffin look with at the steal. that. Paul with the ball, now guarded by prime time. Paul left side. Feeds it to Barnes. Six on the shot clock. The dish to Reddick. Reddick, what boy? That boy go for him. Shot. Get post. that out of here. He balls for both of them. Defensively, this team is just giving up way too many open looks. You're exactly right. And to battle back, they've got to shore that defense up, Steve. Here's prime I need time. to start taking over. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Prime time's got his second bucket of the night. Not a really great start for him to as he just isn't shooting the ball that effectively here early on. Look, they're trying to throw long. Well, I got it. This is being an updated version of Showtime. They know how to Let me show them how to lob it. Yeah, they're doing a little better defensively. They have guys that will certainly give you highlight real quick. Honestly, I was throwing those to Bradley Beal, but I think Weston was going to catch it. How they finish games, too. Here is Paul. Oh, what? Following the bucket by the Open Wizards. against Lob City, though. Griffin sets the screen for Barnes. Outside Griffin. Paul outside. Pass to Barnes. Back to Paul. Dishes it to Jordan. A shot by Paul. No good. It has not been an easy That's quarter. That's a Lamar rebound, though. At least offensively speaking. Beal the pass to prime time. Right wing, and Webster kicks to Pierce. Here's prime time, defended by Paul. Offensive rebound, Gorton, so he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Talk about a terrific game for Gorton. Good ball movement. Nice coach. Go. Well, if you can, you always Let's see what you... I keep giving it. Here's Farmar. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. That big no jump shot, and I can't even Davis make it. Up top. I was making that one in the shooter Evans line. outside. He kicks it to Farmer. I mean, I'm probably thinking that I, I took K skills to Bodie. Here's the three. All right, in this box. No good on that last second attempt there. Next Sunday, March 22nd. John Wall and the Washington Wizards take on DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings. We'll get the Kings next year. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And guys, what's your take?